In this video, we're gonna see seven features to become a pro user in Apple Notes. Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny. And today we're gonna talk about some tips and tricks to improve your productivity. In this case, we're gonna talk about the tools that I use to be more productive. More in specific, I use Apple Notes. So there are a lot of tools to take notes, to organize yourself, to be more productive, to improve your focus. And I've tried pretty much every tool that you may already know, like Notion, also Google Keep, Trello, Monday, and some other to organize yourself and organize your day. But in the end, from a few months till now, I'm using Apple Notes and I'm finding myself very, very good because it is a very basic tool and very simple to use, but in the same way, it is very powerful if you know how to use it. And in this video, we're gonna see seven features to become a pro user in Apple Notes. Anyway, we're gonna start to see Apple Notes, how it works on the iPhone. So we just click on the Notes app and you can see already that I have different folder right here and I don't have the classic quick notes, all iCloud and that's it. But I have different notes and some tags right here below. So the first feature, it is of course to create folders. So you just have to tap right down below, right here, a little folder icon. So you can click it and you can create a new folder. So you can name it new folder and press done. So you have new folder right here. Of course, you can do also subfolder. You can see it already here in my notes because there is a little yellow arrow right beside the folder. And if I click it, two more folders inside the first one. So these are subfolder. And to create one of those, you can just drag and drop your new folder into another folder. And you have a subfolder like that. Very, very easy. You could see that here in creating new folders, we can make a new smart folder. And what is that? So let's go right here. Let's edit our new folder and let's click into convert to smart folder. You can see right now that the new folder, it's indicated by this little gear right there and not by the folder icon that we have. But what we can do with this smart folder, so we can go on to edit smart folder and we can manage smart filters. You can add filters into your folders and there are a lot of filters right there. And I usually use the tags filter. We can see that I can select the video tag right there. And also there is a new folder tag that's already been created with the folder. Or maybe you can just use mention filter. If you have to mention anyone in specific, you can use the checklist filter. So for every note that you create with any of these filter right there will be added automatically into that smart folder. For example, I added my hashtag video right here and hashtag new folder right there. So I can do done. Then if I create a new note, for example, let's call it test and I can use the tag new folder. You can see that automatically has been highlighted from the phone. So I can click done. And then in the new folder, the test notes will appear automatically because it does have inside the new folder tag. Very, very useful. Then another feature, if you open Safari and for example, I click on the share button, you can see already that you can add this site to quick note. So I can add it to quick note and that's right here. The website has been saved in the quick note very, very fast and you can save it and you will find it of course in the quick notes. Then another way to add some quick notes is to go into settings. Of course, you go into control center and you add the notes and the quick note right here. So when you swipe down from the control center, you can click quick note, just type whatever you want and just save it. And you have your quick note, or maybe just click onto note and can add a note very quickly. You can do a quick note also on the Mac, just activate hot corners and just set new note on one of the four corners that you have on your MacBook screen. Then another very, very useful feature where you do not have to do anything special because it is the iCloud sync. Because if I write a note right there and just right now I lock my phone and go to my MacBook, I have the same note in very, very few seconds and the same stuff. If I create a note with my Apple watch and then I go into my phone, I will find the note here. I will find the note on my MacBook. If you have an Apple ecosystem, it's really, really powerful. Then if you create a new note, you have a lot of customization for the note itself, because if you write something, you have to just press this AA button right there. 
and you have a lot of customization for the text. For example, you can change the title heading, subheading body, and you can change the style of the text. And of course, you can do bold, italic, you can underline and strike, of course, your text. But then you can add a checklist like this, very, very easy. You can also add a table. So if you need to add something in your table, you can do it right there. And also you can just adjust the columns and, and the rows, of course. You can also draw on your notes. So you can see right here, I have every tool to draw anything right there. And if you want to go for a more geometric stuff, for example, I want to draw a circle but I want it to be perfect. It's very easy because you just have to do a circle and then just hold the circle, then it will do an automatic perfect circle. Same, same stuff with a square, for example, this is more of a rectangle or a triangle, same stuff. Pretty much with every geometric figure, you can do this trick, very useful. You can copy and paste a link from the web. For example, I'm gonna paste the Apple website link right there. You can do it like this, or you can just add a link like this, and you can also rename your link. For example, I can call it Apple homepage, like this. I can do done, and you can see that if I click on the Apple homepage, of course, it's gonna open the Apple homepage. Then you can add a link to another note. So for example, let me do add link like this. And for example, it says link to, if I click test, it appears right down below link to note test and you can just click it and you can use of course the note title as name or maybe you can do another name for example note test and it's gonna rename the link with this name right here you can do done and if i click on the note test it's gonna open the test note that we did before super super useful then with your camera you can choose a photo or video to add to your note or maybe you can scan even documents you can take a photo or video or maybe you can just scan some text copy and paste it into your note for example if i take this box right here that is a smart plug by the way and i can just do scan text for example and then it will open your camera right there below and it's gonna select automatically the text is gonna recognize some text and if i click insert you can see that it has automatically got everything that was written right here on the box super useful then it's something that you scan or maybe something that you add some photos or some or some other stuff is private you can of course lock the note just go right here into the settings so the three dots on the top and you can of course pin the note and that's very basic but you can lock the note and you can create a separate password for the note or maybe you can just use the iPhone passcode. So I'm going to use the passcode, for example, and you can see that it is unlocked and I can lock it like this. And if I click on view note right now, it's locked. View note with the face ID is going to unlock my private note. And that was the last feature that we have on the Apple notes. At least these are the feature that I use pretty much every day on my Apple notes. And as I said in the beginning, I find myself very well with this Apple Note, especially because it's very simple but complete, because maybe other tools are too complicated, are maybe overkill and takes a lot of time to actually write down a note or maybe something that you have to write very fast. In the end, I finally choose Apple Note and I suggest you to do the same, not with Apple Note, of course, but to stay and stick with one tool and it's gonna be the most accessible, the most easy, most simple to use for you, because that's the only way to be more productive and to use how you should use this tool. So another important app that I use and it's powerful as the note app on the iPhone, it is the reminder app. So if you want to see a video on that too, just let me know it down below in the comments. Also, let me know with a like if you did like this video and let me know also what type of tool you use to be more productive and to organize yourself. Let me know it down below in the comments and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For this video, that's been pretty much it. Thank you for watching it and I will see you in my next one. Bye for now.